Now here we are in exercise number two for lesson 14. We need to write a program to convert 10.5 feet, convert it to meters, and we're given the conversion factor that there are 0 0.305 meters per foot. All right, so here we have the main method down here, and uh, we are declaring uh, the feet and the meters both in terms of double because they're both going to end up having a decimal point. The number of feet is given to us as 10.5, so we have that as a double. The calculated answer, of course, will be also a decimal, so we need to have that as a double. So we assign the number of feet as 10.5, and then we do the calculation. The number of meters is going to be the number of feet times 0 .0, uh, or 0 0.305, because it says right here there are 0 0.305 meters per foot. So for every foot we have, we have another 0 0.305 meters. So we're doing this multiplication. Then we do the system out print. This many feet, feet is equal to meters in terms of meters. So here's how many feet we have to start with. Here's how many meters we have calculated in the end. And we just sandwich it between some text here to get the result that we're after. So we've already saved it. Let's go ahead and run it. 10.5 feet is equal to 3.2025 meters. And that is the final result. So again, it's very similar to the last uh, guy, just giving you more practice. We're declaring the variables that we need to be floating point in terms of this double uh, floating point uh, variable, double precision. And we're assigning the initial value. We're doing the calculation. This, of course, is a decimal point. So this is treated in terms of double precision also. So when we do the multiplication, we assign the answer in terms of double precision. And then the output is then done there in the system out print line function.